Hi, in this video we're going to talk about Java data types, how to represent numbers in different formats. You can see on the screen here we have the finished product of what we're going to create here. So when I run this you're going to see that we have different types of data. We have integers and we have decimal points, we have currency and then numbers with commas in them that are really large. And so Java has a specific way to represent each of these numbers. So let's start the project and talk through it as we develop it. So I have a starter project here on the screen. The project that I called uh, data types is listed here and I have a main class and a main method. So the way we did that in the previous video was we went to file new Java project and then named it. So let's start right here in the main area where we're going to write our code. The first thing I'm going to do is declare a variable. I'm going to put in a keyword, a Java keyword, int. You can tell that it's a keyword because it turns purple in the editor and the others are usually just black lettering. So if I wanted to come up with a variable I would use a word that is very descriptive such as my age and then I'm going to give it some number and then a semicolon. So what this does to the computer then it says reserve a place in memory and we are going to put an integer into it. Now to a computer, an integer has a very specific value. So in math class, when you learned integers, you think of 0, 1, 5, 60,000. Everything that's not a decimal or a fraction is generally an integer. Well, it's very similar in uh, computers as well. So I have my age equals 30. And if I wanted to print that, I would use system, out, and then print line, just like we did before. And then I can say my age, put a string, is and then what you do with them um, combining integers and strings is called a concatenation event so this plus sign means that we are going to add two different values together that are different data types so the quotation mark is called a string my age is and then the my age val value the variable is an integer so let's run that and see what the results look like we should be able to see a sentence that ends in the number 30. Let's say I wanted to have a very large integer and so I'm going to declare this integer as the name of inches to the sun and I looked this one up on Google because I actually don't know how many inches to the sun there are and it turns out that the number is immense it's some five quadrillion or whatever and we have an error so Eclipse is going to underline a problem with a red line and you can guess what the problem is by hovering your mouse so we get an error message that says the literal and the literal means this number that you've typed is out of range so integers have a maximum limit that they are allowed to go to because well the memory of the computer is limited so let's take a minute to look at Oracle's documentation. Remember, Oracle is the official owner of Java, and they have a page called Primitive Data Types. And let's look down and what they are. So we have this line right here, int. And you can see that we have others, such as byte and short and long and float and double. And so int is a what's called a 32-bit signed number. In other words, in a computer, a uh, bit is a zero or a one and if you string 32 of those together you can represent an integer and so the largest integer and the smallest integer is 2 to the 31st power minus 1 <laughs> okay so that is some number that has a limit it's a big number but it's a limited number and so that explains why we have an out of range error so let's switch back into Eclipse so if I wanted to fix this I would need to add a different data type. It's called long. So long is a obviously a longer integer. And now when I come to the end of this, I have to put the letter L. And that tells this computer that L is a long data type. So now I want to print this message out that says the number of inches to the sun is. And I'm going to do it a little different format this time. You notice I put a comma instead of a plus sign and I have an error because of that. So I need to change this from print ln to another command called print f. So print f means print as a formatted number. And now I can put in what's called a placeholder. So I put in a percent sign and a d. 
and now I have a, a, a number plate, a placeholder. So if I print this, it should show up on the uh, console and have an actual number. So that's another way to do a print. You use what's called a print format. Now, if I wanted to, I could also say that this is a very big number and the formatting allows many different types of things, including adding the comma. And now when I push the run, I should see a comma listed in my number. So it's much easier to read now than it was before. Now also you can see that my uh, editor doesn't hold the entire line. So Eclipse and other editors like it have what they call word wrap. And so there's a command here called toggle word wrap. And you can see now that line 10 now is split into two lines. So the number of inches to the sun has a format. Let's say I wanted to make another number called the likability factor and I want it to be a decimal. So you can see that I've defined it as an int and now we have a problem because I put a decimal point in here and it says you cannot cast or you cannot convert a double to an int. So a double is what it's thinking about. Well, I was thinking of another type of uh, number. It's called a float. So floats and doubles are both used for holding uh, decimal numbers. So if I put an F in there, I now have a float value. You can also do a double value, which is the same idea as float, but it's more precise. Let's say I make $14.50 an hour, and so I define that as a double, and we'll call it an hourly wage. Okay, so I've got both of these. One's defined as an F, the other one's defined as a double. Let's print them and see what they look like. Okay, so now I'm going to use a formatted print and I'm going to tell it that you are likable to this degree. And uh, for this time, I'm going to put a placeholder as percent %f. And so f stands for float. And then we'll print off the likability factor. Let's see what that looks like when we run it and see if the formatting looks any good. So we do have uh, some numbers down here and you can see that it doesn't start a brand new line. It just uh, starts shoving the characters on the same line. However, the integer uh, I'm sorry, the float number is listed with a decimal point. So let's put in another item after the, do, uh, the D. I'm going to put in a percent %n. That stands for new line. So I will put in a percent %n after each of these placeholders and run it again. This time, as you can see, we have ourselves a decimal point here and a number with commas on the previous line. Let's say I wanted to have a fixed number of decimal points. So I could put in a period and let's say three. So that would go to the thousands place. So what we're learning here is two things. One is how numbers are stored uh, as far as ints, longs, or doubles, and also a nice way to print them. Let's say I want to have an integer for the uh, likability factor. So I'm going to define an int and call it round likable. So the word round, of course, means I'm rounding the number off. When I try to put the likability factor in as an assignment to the round likable, I get an error. And you can see that it says there are some problems and I can, I can offer some suggestions. So we have three of them. I'm going to choose the first one, but let's talk about what they are. So casting means we can convert one number to another and it'll automatically round it off. Uh, we can change the type of round likable to float, but I don't want it to be that. I want it to keep as an, an integer. And then the other is you can change the uh, likability factor to an int. So one of those three will resolve this problem. Like I said, I'm going to pick the first one. It's called a cast. Let's see what a cast does. So a cast puts this in front of the assignment. It says, take this number and turn it into an integer, so that way we can put it into the round likable variable. So let's take this last print statement and copy it. And now we are going to, instead of put in a, an F, I'm going to put in a D. And then in here, I'm going to say round likable. And so you can see that it doesn't recognize what round likable is. Uh, it looks like I forgot I spelled it wrong. So let's put the K in there. Run the program and see if anything works. So what happens on the round likable? you can see that the last item has a 10 and there's no decimal point. So converting from a float to a integer can be done as an integer cast. Now just to uh, refer you back to the original documentation, 
Uh, let's take a look at what some of the others are. So we've looked at ints, longs, and floats, and double. And you can see that there are other things such as chars and booleans. Also, there is an official document on how to print formatted numbers. And so I'll refer you to that as well. And so they, they give you some code. You could actually copy and paste this. And you could have all different, different types of printouts. So if you want to have a, a plus or a minus to have a positive or negative number, how to do decimals, how to do commas, how to do dates. So there's a whole bunch of information that you should look at if you have a specific need for printing a different format. And so we're not going to take the time in the video, but you should make sure that you look at the documentation when that need arises so that you know how to print the correct number. So in the next video, we're going to start talking about other data types. So let's get started right away.